वेलकम टू माई चैनल फ्रेंड्स एंड दिस इज माई न्यू चैनल दैट इज मेट टॉक्स और इस चैनल में मैं छोटे छोटे 15 से 20 मिनट के वीडियोस बनाऊंगा रिगार्डिंग मेडिकल टॉपिक्स एंड आज का हमारा टॉपिक है ब्रेकियल प्लेक्सिस एंड द ब्रेकियल प्लेक्सिस इज द नर्व सप्लाई ऑफ द अपर लिम और द सुपीरियर एक्सट्रीमिटी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो सो ब्रेकियल प्लेक्सिस इज आवर टॉपिक एंड Brachial plexus मतलब the term brachial plexus comes from plexus means a com a union of nerves and brachial or brachium means the arm so it is the nerve supply or the it is the union of nerves that supply the arm or the upper limb actually so we study it under the four segments and these four segments are roots trunks. chords and the divisions roots divisions tru roots trunks divisions and the chords and we eventually we will deal with the different branches of all these four segments so let's start with the first segment which is the roots so roots are actually the ventral rami of the spinal nerves ventral rami of the spinal nerves from C5 to T1 now what happens is the brachial plexus also gets contribution from C4 as well as T2 now depending upon ki kiska contribution zyada hai ya barabar hai we will have three types of brachial plexus prefixed postfixed and fixed now fixed brachial plexus is the one which has equal contribution from both C4 as well as T2 and if the c4 contribution is more as compared to t1 it is known as the prefixed whereas if the t2 component is more as compared to c4 it is known as post fixed so if the c4 component is more than the t2 component we call it as the prefixed brachial plexus i'll just write it in short the bp if the c4 and t2 component or contribution is equal then we call it as the fixed brachial plexus and if the c4 contribution is less than the t2 contribution it is known as the post fixed brachial plexus so there are three types based on this prefixed fixed and post fixed after this we will study the next three segments that is the trunks divisions and chords and the branches of each of the four segments individually so we will discuss this in a diagram so c5 c6 C seven, then we have C eight, and then we have the T one roots. So these are all the five roots. After the roots, the next we will form is the trunks. The brachial plexus will form the trunks as the next segment. So the first two roots, that is C five and C six, will combine to form the upper trunk. the c7 root continues as the middle trunk and the c8 and t1 roots will continue will combine and continue to form the lower trunk so we have these four these three trunks that is the upper trunk ut the middle trunk mt and this is the lower trunk i'll writing it as lt the next is that each of these three trunks will divide into two divisions these two divisions will be one is anterior the other is posterior so we have two divisions anterior and posterior division of each of the trunk so in total we have six divisions three trunks will give two each division so it will be six so i'll denote the i'll denote the anterior divisions with the black ink and the posterior divisions with the red ink so this this is the anterior division of the first upper trunk and the middle trunk upper trunk and middle trunk anterior division are denoted by this black ink 
and the upper and the uh, anterior division of the lower trunk again I have denoted with this black, black ink why I have written down it like this I'll just explain now let us see the posterior divisions of each of the three trunk so the posterior divisions of each trunk will actually it will combine it will combine together and we will get another thing so the three posterior divisions of upper middle and lower trunk will combine to form the posterior cord it is very simple to remember the posterior divisions of each of the three trunks will form the posterior cord as easy as anything after that the upper trunk and middle trunk the anterior divisions will together form the lateral cord so this is the lateral cord and the one left behind that is the anterior division of the lower trunk is going to form the medial cord this will go and form the medial cord actually it is continuing as the medial cord so these are the three cords and so this is the roots C5 to T1 trunks upper middle lower divisions that is the anterior and posterior division of each of the trunks and then we have the three cords now let us study the branches so the roots have the three branches roots have two branches I'm sorry roots have two branches one is the C5 C6 and C7 they together form a branch that is known a nerve this together forms a nerve which is the branch of the roots known as the long thoracic nerve the long thoracic nerve is also known as the nerve to serratus anterior nerve to the serratus anterior Is it okay? Now the C5, C5 will form an, another branch, it will give another branch that is the dorsal scapular nerve, I have written DS, I will write it down over here. So DS is actually the dorsal scapular dorsal scapular nerve now the trunks the trunks have only two branches and that both of them come from the upper trunk so one branch is the nerve to subclavius and the other one is the suprascapular nerve okay okay so i'll write it down like this so this one the branch is the suprascapular nerve And this NS, I'll write it again over here. NS is the nerve to nerve to subclavius muscle. So these are the these are the branches from the roots and the trunk. Now divisions do not give any branches. Now we'll study about the branches of the three cords. <coughs> Now lateral cord has a mnemonic that is LML. The posterior cord has a mnemonic ultra. And the medial cord has a mnemonic M4U. So let us study the branches individually. So for those who want to write it down, can pause the video and write the brachial plexus. I'll move on to the next topic. So now we will start with the branches of the cords and we start with the lateral cord at the beginning. So the lateral cord as I have already told you has 
three branches and I have given you the mnemonic that is LML. Okay, so LML is the nerve is the other nerves and that is lateral pectoral nerve is the first one. So lateral cord gives the lateral branch, lateral pectoral nerve. Very easy, lateral 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 pectoral nerve. The M, I am writing it down here intentionally, LML or you can write it as LLM, LLM is the master's degree of uh, law, so you can remember in both ways. This is again a lateral branch, that is the lateral root of the median nerve, median nerve. And after that, the M that I have written is musculo, musculo cutaneous nerve. Alright, so these are the three branches of the lateral cord LLM or LML, whatever you want, you can remember it as that format. Musculo cutaneous nerve, why write it down? Why have I written down separately at the below at the bottom? Because it is the continuation of the it is the continuation of the lateral cord it is the continuation of the lateral cord so uh, now we move on to the medial cord branches now let us move on to the medial cord branches So the medial cord branches that includes the M4U that I have already told you the mnemonic is M4U and M4U is that is that means actually we have got five branches of the medial cord. The first four starting from M that is why M4 and the last one is from U. So because it is a medial cord all the M is actually the medial branches. So the very easy to remember, the first one, the first and second are easy to remember. You just have to write down the lateral cord branches in, uh, in the name of medial cord branches. So lateral pectoral nerve was there in the lateral cord. We will write here the medial pectoral nerve. We had lateral root of medial nerve. Here we will write medial root of median nerve fine so these two are the same and that are the lateral branches and the medial branches they are just uh, corresponding to the lateral cord now the next two medial branches are the cutaneous branches and they are very similar in their names so medial cutaneous cutaneous is skin skin supply so medial cutaneous nerve of the arm is one branch and the second branch is very similar it is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm the ha upper hand has two parts the upper hand has two parts the forearm the forearm and the arm so one will supply the medial aspect of the arm the other will supply the medial aspect of the forearm so we have the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and the last is ulnar nerve now why I have written ulnar nerve in the last again as I have already told you that lateral cord has a continuation in the musculocutaneous nerve the ulnar nerve is the continuation of the medial cord Okay, so you can write this, write this down till then I'll, I'll rub it off and move on to the posterior cord. So let us start the posterior cord. So let us start with the posterior cord. Now I had already told you the mnemonic for the posterior cord that it is ITRA. So 
the u and l are quite similar in terms in their in terms of their names so u is the upper u is the upper sub scapular nerve upper sub scapular nerve l is nothing but the lower sub scapular nerve the lower sub scapular nerve is the l now in ultra then there is the t t is nothing but the thoraco dorsal nerve thoraco dorsal nerve it is also having another name that is the intermediate intermediate subscapular nerve intermediate subscapular nerve and we have another name we have another name that is the nerve to the muscle latissimus dorsi nerve to the muscle latissimus dorsi the last two branches are actually the the last two branches are the r and a a is the axillary nerve and the r is the radial nerve so now radial nerve is the continuation of the posterior cord so radial nerve is the continuation of the posterior cord so you can note this down so guys this is the brachial plexus the roots the trunks the divisions and the cords all i have discussed along with the branches individually of the three four segments actually three i said because the divisions do not have any branches so with this we come to the end of brachial plexus and if you want to if you want to study the peripheral nerve injuries regarding the brachial plexus please subscribe to my channel and watch my next videos so the, i will thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel med talks and also like this video and comment down below in the comment section to tell me what videos or what topics you want to see thank you so much